it is indeed a pleasure to, uh, to welcome you here on behalf of the Umista and all of the people that the Umista represents. The Papua. Let me tell you what an honor it is to be in this place today. To Sarah Holland, to Klaus Dimel, to Martin Roth, to Consul General Sitz. The place speaks to us. The notion that we will share those exchanges build those memories, have that legacy for all time, is hugely important. The world is getting smaller each and every year. Why not art? Why not something that speaks to us, that defines us as we go forward? So it's an honor on behalf of the province of British Columbia to be here. What an amazingly cool idea this is. And it does definitely put uh, Alert Bay and the Kwakwakiwak on the map in Germany and it puts uh, Dresden and Germany on the map here in our beautiful territory. And I uh, certainly look forward to uh, hearing about the cultural exchange and uh, certainly look forward to more of these exchanges because when we exchange our culture, we exchange our identity and we share our stories and our history and the world becomes a bit closer. So, Ela uh, Kasla, thank you for having us here. What we have uh in common with Umista is the experiences that all of, the, all of our families have been put through. And we have collectively tried to work together to bring everything back. I'm the mayor of Port McNeil, which is the next biggest town, next most important town to Alert Bay on Vancouver Island. <laughs> Many, many, many weekends living in Alert Bay with friends of mine here, and it has been a great pleasure for me over the years to see myself from Ireland, which been a vendor, and myself from Ireland actually working day by day with the people here in Alert Bay. Our communities are working well together, as Mayor Barry has outlined. We work very well with our youngest relatives and friends and we will continue to do so long into the future. Kelly Kingsley. Thank you, Jerry. That's the first time I've heard Quack while I was an uh, Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> Deputy Speaker, Consul General, Mayors. This is a very important day for us. We never made an experiment like that. And it's, uh, I will never forget that day when our colleague came into my office and said, um, there's a great, there's an unbelievable exhibition on Alert Bay. I've seen it. It was the ambassador to Berlin from Canada invited a group of curators coming to BC. And I knew a little bit that uh, collection. I said, um, just forget it. <coughs> Our colleague is no style. Just forget it. I think it will never work. And he was really excited and came back two weeks later with this smile in his face. I will never forget that. And this smile said everything. It was like, here we are. He talked to Andrea. And I had the chance to talk to Andrea as well. And it's, it's so sad that she couldn't be here today. And she think we should dedicate that exhibition and that day to her. She was um, unbelievable the way she received us, that, that idea, that exchange, that helped us a lot. The idea for this project came in my, to my mind several years ago when I stood with them one night in Mexico. And uh, they bring corn beer and dance and so and when everything was dark, oh yeah, and so I found out that everyone looked the same. I, I found out my people from my class grew hundreds of years ago, and so, and in this moment I found that we are very much the same, but we are very different also. And this is the prime idea, not to smoothen the differences of our both of our two cultures, but to open a dialogue, 
uh, this is something for the future, as Martin already said. And I think we can continue with that in the future time. And thank you, Sarah, for this presentation. <laughs> and uh, it's not easy, you know. We struggled. We struggled to find to find the same language, uh, even if we speak. English and so, but we have different notions, different ideas, theories, different ancestors, and so we have to find similar texts and so. With this, we struggled about two years, and I'm happy to do this uh, exhibit in memoriam of Andrea Sandu. Thank you. Hola, Kuyala, Motmalima. Gaila Kessler, Gaila Kessler, Gaila Kessler. For all of you Quakala speakers, part of my terrible accent, <laughs> I've tried my best. It is a delight to welcome all of you today to join us, and it's a privilege to speak in this magnificent Giyutsi. And it is an honor to greet you as, on behalf of the Umista Cultural Society. I think of Umista as a small museum with big dreams. And, you know, if I was to say to someone, I had a vision of Saxon treasures, fine porcelain, and muskets, and what walk you up mass, it would sound like I was talking about a dream. So I wanted to say thank you to you all for sharing in this collective dream. <laughs>